Okay, hello. Today we're going to be talking about hoisting and the difference with hoisting between var and let and const. Anything I do with let is going to be the exact same thing as it is with const, but let's take a look at hoisting and see how it differs between these two declarations. All right, I'm, I've created a variable here called log, which I'm assigning to log just because I'm going to be writing a lot of console log statements and I hate typing the word console over and over and over again. Okay, now when you declare a variable with var, let's start with that one. So we'll create a variable called v1. Now I haven't assigned any value to it, and you would expect that this has a default value of undefined, which it does. So if we write that out, we can run this code, and sure enough, undefined is the answer that we're going to get back. Now that is because when you declare a variable, if you, until you assign something to it, it has this default value of unassigned, of undefined rather. But when does that undefined get put into there? And that really is the difference between var and let with hoisting. So I can take log v1, and if I shift that line up above, so I'm running it before this declaration line, you'd think, okay, well, that doesn't look right. This is going to be happening afterwards, so something's going to crash here. But if I run it again, I get undefined because this variable, because I declare it with var, was hoisted. It's like I moved this line right up to the top of the file. So I put it way up here, right up at the top. V1 is declared up here and it's given the default value of undefined. So when we get down to the line where we're accessing it, it's fine. It understands that this thing exists and JavaScript has already given it the value of undefined. Unfortunately, this led to a lot of people doing things like this, which is bad programming practice. So when they introduced let and const, they tried to fix this problem and correct people's behavior. Now, if I create a variable here with let, we'll say L1, and I try to do the same thing. We log it after L1. Okay, there we go. I'm going to comment this log out. This one's going to come up as undefined, even if it's above. There we are. So I'll clear this and run it again. Okay, good. So here's the L1, and there's the log L1 coming up as undefined. We declared it. We didn't put anything inside of it, so it says it's undefined. But if I move this to the line above, L1 is still being hoisted to the very top so that JavaScript is aware that this variable exists, but it's no longer doing the automatic assignment of undefined right up here. It's doing it down here. Undefined is assigned at this line, not before. So if we run this, boom, reference error. There it is. Reference error L1 is not defined, which is not the same thing as undefined. So if we do it here, we get the reference error. And that's because while it did get hoisted so that JavaScript is aware of it, the assignment doesn't happen until here. Between this point and this point, we are inside of, so because we are inside the temporal dead zone, And that's just the technical term they use to describe this, the time between the hoisting and when you actually get to the line where let is used. Because if we do it on the line after, there is no problem. We do have the undefined. There it is, undefined. Okay, now with functions, they get hoisted the same way as var. So I can have it down here. If I do a function declaration, so this here is a function declaration, not a function expression, but a function declaration. That gets hoisted up to the top. So if I try to run it up here, oh here, let's put something inside of it. We'll do log function f. It's just so we see something come up on the screen. Now I'm going to put it right here. It's above my function declaration, but it's below log because I am using log inside the function. I don't want that to crash. All right, save that and we'll run it again. And there it is, function f. Okay, so that worked. It got hoisted. The whole thing, not just the fact that there is something called f, but the whole function got hoisted to the top, so we were able to run it. Now with a function expression, 
let's say fe equals function. This is a function expression. Even if I gave it a name, it is still a function expression because we're putting var in front of it here and we're assigning this value. So if you're doing that, this same the same rules apply to this as did here. Fe is going to be hoisted to the very top. The function doesn't get assigned until this line. And it doesn't really matter if I use var or let. It's still just the Fe. So if we log a message, we say function Fe, and then we come up to the top here and I try to run it, Fe, we are going to get an error. And there it is. Fe is not a function. Well, it's going to be a function, but right now Fe is just a variable with the value undefined. So if I log out Fe, we'll see that I do have something here. There it is. Undefined. Function F, undefined. That's where we are right now. This is undefined, so if I try to run it by putting the parentheses afterwards, it's going to say, hey, that thing is not a function. You cannot run it. There we go. Fe is not a function. And if I change this to Fe, and I come down and I use let instead, now we've got the same thing that's happening with let, which is it's hoisted, but it doesn't have any value until this line right here. So it's going to give us a reference error once again. There we are. Fe not defined. Reference error. So it fails. Now, inside of a function, one last little thing to mention. Um, with let and const, we're talking about block scoping. So that means anywhere you get a set of curly braces inside of a function, or if I have an if statement, that's a block, or if there's a for loop, that's another block. Anytime there's a set of curly braces, this is a block scope, and any variables that I declare only exist inside of this scope. So fair enough, but what if I have a variable, let's say uh, x, just because I can't think of anything right now. We have this variable x, and I've assigned something to it. This is kind of an odd situation because I've written a variable inside the function scope here. I haven't specified if it's var or let. So what JavaScript is going to do is it's going to search inside of this scope because I'm not declaring it here. It's going to search inside of this scope for something that was declared called x. It doesn't find it. It then will go up to the global scope. It searches here in its hoisted area and says, nope, I don't have anything declared. So I'm going to create a global variable called x. So this becomes a global var called x. And then we can use it elsewhere in our code if we want. But this is, again, something that was put in to sort of protect you, but it leads to very bad coding practices. So I encourage you to use let and const. It's a little bit more restrictive in terms of where you can declare it, but it's really only restrictive in the fact that you have to do things in a sensible order. You have to declare your variables at the top before you try to use them, which I don't think really is that much of a hard, um, how, that much of a negative thing to do. Uh, it's not that much to ask. So please use var, uh, use let and const instead of var, and put your variable declarations up at the top of the scope, whether it's at the global scope or inside your function. You should be declaring them like that. And this is to avoid the global var called x. OK, I will save a copy of this code uh, as a code gist. It's linked down in the description for you. If you have any questions, feel free to put those in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching.